She's going to send me a message right after I have been with a picture of Roxy dressed as Dracula. <laughs> and she captioned it. Mom, please let me be an angel next year. <laughs> she sent me um, another message that said, Roxy kicked butt in school today. She is like a fish in water in her agility classes. She did us proud. Another message. You want to see the best woman ever? Pick up your mirror and look. She loved unconditionally. She's everywhere I look. And she will be forever in my heart. And by the way, I'm the Carolina Connection, Carolina family. She did so much, but the one thing she did was be who you needed her to be as a friend. And she did listen really well for someone that talked as much as she did. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm quite sure that she's in heaven right now and that she's talking to the angels. And all I want to say is, <laughs> one thing I want to say is, please put the good word for us. We used to tease back and forth because um, she was Catholic. And I'm Baptist. Uh, you know, don't hold that against me. <laughs> she did. She came to my house many Christmases, many holidays, many times. And was always a good sport about going to church with us. And said, I don't know if I should go through those doors. I think I'll set off the Catholic horror. <laughs> I said, Sheila, if you do, then just turn it off and reset. It'll be all right. <laughs> just follow me. If you can sit, stand, and kneel, you can come to a Baptist church. <laughs> Sheila was um, a dear, dear friend and like a daughter. messages or emails about her students. And all of them said, I have the best time tonight in class. I love these students. They are awesome. They are working so hard. She just loved what she did in teaching English. She had a lot of um, funny stories to tell about that and maybe some frustrations at times, but she cared so deeply about what she did. Cared almost, um, probably more than she should. And I don't know how in the world she did all she did. Um, for a while, I, I go to bed or just kind of go to sleep kind of late. And she was the only person I knew that was awake at midnight. So we would text back and forth. She got me through some tough times. Been with me during very significant events in my life. And always made it as it made me feel as if I was the only person in her world right then. To, to students, the best tribute that you can give to Sheila is to continue to master the skills that she was trying to teach. Keep working. Keep up the good work, because obviously you are all really good. And make that your tribute and your legacy to leave, just like the legacy Sheila has left us, that we live 
until I see her in heaven.